What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Souls. Uh, you may notice we're in Ulusil, so I did a lot of, I did a little bit of off-screen stuff. I, uh, I upgraded a bunch of our boss souls into weapons, uh, like this one. This is the Golem Axe. We have, we took a plus ten Great Axe and we turned it into this, which has a special effect of this, which I don't know how it actually works. Oh, I think I see. Okay. But yeah, so we're back in the seal. We're going to go ahead and um, pop a humanity to go human and hope we don't get invaded right away. Because we do have an NPC we want to fight here. And um, I'm not going to be showing you guys the skip for this area that I said I would. I lied. Um, I'm actually going to do that kind of in like the skips and tricks video. So, yeah. Oh, I need to turn my mouse over so it doesn't keep moving. Alright, so this area is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, it's a pretty linear area. These are the enemies we're going to be fighting here. Uh, you should be able to backstab them. I just never can. You can parry them as well. Um, they're pretty quick. By the way, there's an item here. There's a soul item right here. And yes, as you can see, I have failed repeatedly to do the skip, and that's why I've decided not to do it right now. Because I feel like I might have fucked up, and I might not be able to do it without a setup. Like, I don't know if there was, like, an update or something that did that. But I have I have no idea. But I just can't do it. I've tried it probably eight times. Didn't get it, so. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'll do a little bit of research at some point and figure it out. But we're going to go through this area normally, as is for now. So, yeah, these guys can, uh, these guys can combo attacks pretty quick. There you go. So you have to get a little bit further than you would expect to to actually backstab them. Um, but these are the primary enemies we're going to be fighting here. Let me grab my souls. I think that's like 40 thou. Yeah. Um, as you can see, it's very linear. The beginning of this area, anyway, is extremely linear. So I actually like this weapon. It's pretty quick. It does pretty good damage. Um, you'll once we get about here, you'll start seeing some, uh, you know, some alternate pathways we can take. Oh, we need to do that actually. I have to go back. That is the caster version of the enemy. Damn it! So you can block his magic. It does a lot of damage, and it does a pretty big amount of stamina too. And it hits you really easily. So you need to be really careful with these guys. Uh, they cause uh, poison build. I think that might be toxic, actually. These guys are actually a pretty big pain in the ass. Uh, there's a guy right here. Don't get caught by him. When you go to get this, he'll pop around and try and murder you. Soul of a brave warrior. Uh, these guys do drop their heads, I believe. They can drop their head and their staff. I think you can get the staff from them, too. But yeah, now we have a branching path. We can either go straight or go over here. Now I fucked up, so I actually have to go back to the bonfire real quick. Because I wasn't thinking, and I'm just going to make you guys suffer through it. Because I was not thinking about what I was doing. So before you go to this area, there's an if you want to clear this in the first go-around, you actually need to equip a fairly specific piece of magic... It is cast light. Um, you're gonna want cast light. Uh, I think you could also use a couple other. You could use the sunlight maggot head, which we don't have yet, which we will be getting at some point. Um, I think you can probably use the um, an item you get down in the catacombs as well. Um, I'm sure there's some other stuff, but we'll stick with the cast light spell. So we just have to make our way through here again. Which isn't too big a deal. But yeah, these guys, if you're trying to backstab them, you need to get a little bit further around than you think you do. Um, got him. Ow, stop it. Oh. There we go. Backstab. You can also parry them. I have literally never... I've parried maybe four of them in my entire Souls career. Not really my thing. I don't... I find their attacks really, really weird to try and parry, so we're not gonna... I also should have 
gotten more Estus. Wait, did I have 10 here? I can't remember. Maybe I did actually have 10. Let's try this again. Oh, we got one to kill himself. That was cool. There we go. Bye bye. Uh, do I, did I equip the, I did equip the wand. Perfect. So yeah, this area is not really hard. I don't know why I thought it was so difficult when I first started. Uh, this guy can be annoying if you can't get to him. There's a couple later on that are a bigger pain in the ass though, so. Just, if you thought, if you think this guy's annoying here, dealing with him a little later is even worse. Especially if you're not using like, if you're in this area earlier than you should be. And you know you don't. You're just trying to run through here to get some stuff for PVP builds or whatnot. Um, as you can see, they drop a lot of large titanite, so this actually is a pretty solid uh, titanite farming area, which we'll get into later. I'll let you know all the good stuff. Uh, since we have a bow, we might as well grab this guy from here. As you can see, the bow does a lot more damage. I actually upgraded the bow the rest of the way. Well, no, it's like I think it's plus two. Yeah, that's only plus two. So we've got three more levels we could upgrade this. Now, I'm going to try and hopefully remember the way I'm supposed to go, because it gets a little bit confusing. I think I want to head this way. Pretty sure I just want to head down, yeah. Head down here is the way we're going to go. Around this corner, we've got Mr. Guy. Kill him, obviously. We don't need him alive. Um, this area is a lot easier to do if you kill the enemies, too, because otherwise they'll start coming up behind you, and you'll have a whole big situation. So I think, oh yeah, we'll get that later. So now we need to go over here, make that little drop, and that's going to take us to uh, a couple areas. First off, we want to head this way. Ah, we'll get that in a bit. So right, I think we're being, we're being attacked. No. So you want to take out your thing and activate cast light right here. There's another place we have to do this as well, but right here, uh, it's going to open this uh, thing, and I think that's, yeah, the developer message is let there be light, so you kind of know something's going on. And in here, we're going to get ourselves the silver pendant. Not going to be important just yet, but very helpful in a little while. Well, not a little while, but for the, the boss of this area, that is very helpful. So we're going to head over here, clear this. This room is kind of a bitch. I'm actually going to switch shields for a second here. Um to something with better magic defense. Right, Havels would be great, but I can't use it, so. Uh, we, I guess we'll use the new one we have. We have a new shield. Uh, the Crystal Ring Shield. I made this out of the uh, butterfly. The soul of the butterfly. So this is, has a really high magic resist. As you can see, does a lot less damage now. Um, I'm just going to keep it on because there's a bunch of these guys in here. When we go down here, you'll see. Um, I'll see if I can take one out with a bow, maybe. Yeah, this area is kind of a pain. Because that's not... Oh, yeah, see, that's the problem. Get out here, and I think there's an enemy out here, too. But Get out here, give you a little safe zone, you can kind of try and figure out how you want to deal with the situation. I really don't know. I think we're just going to fucking rush it and hope. Now... Uh oh. Fuck! Yeah, and that's that's kind of that's this area in a nutshell. Oh, and we're poisoned. How nice of you. Thank you. I'm kind of one. I'm kind of regretting my decision to be an iron golem now. If I'm honest, maybe I should have been a tiny ninja. But that's okay. We can make that. We'll make this work. Do not worry. I could cast, uh, I could take, what's it called, uh, this other magic I have. Instead of the hidden body, I could take, do I have it? Magic shield. Ma yeah, we could take that and throw that, oh, I don't think we can throw that on the, uh, the butterfly shield, though. Or this shield. No, we can put on this shield, can't we? Oh, we have to go human again, too. Eh, whatever. That's fine. We are running out of humanity. I am going to very soon have to probably go kill a firekeeper, um, which I planned on doing anyway, so it's not a big deal. 
just so I can have more humanity, because I don't want to farm the humanity. I'll show you where you can farm the humanity. Like I said, everything I do, you can do through farming if you want, if you have time. I just don't want to murder my brain with the game. Also, I guess we should, uh, this would be a good place to highly advise bonfire kindling this one. I would kindle it. Just because this area can be kind of annoying, so you're probably going to want a lot of health. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Let us get through this area once again. Luckily, it's not too bad. Um, it really isn't a terrible area to run through again. Um, later on, it gets a little bit more annoying, but at this point, it is really not bad at all, I think. Especially if you have, like, a good, uh, oh, a weapon like this, like a good, a sweeping kind of quickish attack, but does decent damage, you know, kind of thing. Like, daggers against these guys is kind of a pain unless you're confident parrying them. Um, so yeah, kind of keep that in mind. And you are going to probably have to do this area a couple times. Um, I doubt you're going to get through it on your first try. Um, and I mean, but when, that, when I say that, I mean getting all the stuff. There's, there's not a ton of stuff here, but there are, there are some collectibles we need to gather. Ooh, almost got me. Nice try, buddy. Let's go ahead and take that opportunity to heal. And chop the motherfucker down. Chop the motherfucker down. What do you got for us? Ah, we got his head. So yeah, we'll we'll wear that at some point probably. But you yeah you you get a pick. You basically get his head, which is kind of intense. Is that guy gonna act aggro on me from there, or does he stay down there? No, he hangs out. Okay, cool. All right, let's go back this way again. Oh goodness, uh, that was nearly disastrous. Ow! Oh. oh, we got him. Cool. Oh, he's alive. There we go. So if you want to be cool, you can do that. Um, head over here. Back in this room again. Ow. Don't hit me. Okay, so dealing with this room, I'm kind of... I'm not really sure. I wonder if they are activated by... Ooh, experimentation. I wonder if alluring skulls work on these guys. Doesn't look like it. I don't see them going for them. Nope, they don't give a fuck. Alright, um... Let's see. What was that? That was strange. Um, I guess we'll try and go. Okay. Usually I like to get to here and kind of assess the situation from here. Obviously it's not the best. But right here we should be safe from being hit and we can kind of peek this wall a little bit. Okay, we need to get this guy quick. Dodge! Oh, we did it! No, maybe not! Get him out and heal before they fucking something goes wrong. Cool. Alright. Uh, these are open, as you can see. Oh no, and then this one is not a mimic. We get Dark Orb. This is a pretty decent spell. Um, it's kind of like... Well, it's a, technically it's Pyro. It's kind of like the... Um, I mean, it's kind of. It's exactly like the pyromancy, um... Oh no, we can't walk over there. Oh no. It's exactly like the, uh, fire orb, basically, except instead of doing fire damage, it does, uh, basically, like, dark. Which is an interesting concept. Um, I'm pretty sure the dark... Oh, hello. You die now. Goodbye. So kill him, you get this carving, which is pretty cool. So the carvings are neat because... 
their infinite uses, and they're like the, they're, they added them in the DLC basically to talk to people. So you drop it, I'm sorry. and now you can communicate with people, which is pretty cool. All right, so once you've cleared this area out, let's see where do I want to go next. I'm just kind of wandering because I don't remember the whole area very well. So yeah, you can come out here. This is just kind of like a little safety nook, really. But that's all that's down there. If you don't want that stuff, you don't have to go in there. You can completely ignore this area. Let's see. I think this is what takes me back up to the beginning. Yeah, this takes me back to where we were at. This will take me up to here. Uh, we just have to make a jump. Easy peasy. And I don't know what this is. A soul item, probably? Yeah, another soul item. Lots of soul items. Now that we've got that, we can drop back down. Um, where do I want to drop down at? Ah, we'll just walk back down. I could drop, but I don't want to die, so we'll walk around the corner. And now we're going to uh, hop to this one over here. You have to be brave and make the jump. And coming over here, go ahead and quit... Uh, do the load, uh, quit out and load back in, and then there's going to be a crystal lizard right here. Let's see what he wants to give us today. Got green. Eh, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Okay, now we're kind of wrapped back around from where we started. Um, at this point, you have to get onto this. And then we're actually going to come up from... This is actually the way we would come from, so I'm going to walk back up here. So you guys can see where we would have come if we went the right, the path we were supposed to. And as you can see, uh, right here is the bridge we would have crossed. This is where Chester invades too, which is why we came back here. So obviously, Chester has now invaded us. Ow. That hurt. Uh, he is probably going to be a dick and just shoot you from there so yeah and he fucking he hopefully we'll eventually we'll be able to just get up to him I would advise 100% block shield good stability that'll get you up to him And then get up to safe ground. Get a good shield and just whack him away. He likes to kick you. He's kind of a crazy man like that. Just push him off the cliff. That's how you do it. That's how you get rid of that guy. Marvelous Chester was vanquished. You get, you know, 10,000 souls. Um, as far as I know, we don't get a drop from that. Let me quit out and load in just in case. But I'm pretty sure you only get his outfit when you actually go kill him uh, where he's standing, over by Artorio. But, no big deal. So yeah, that's where we. Get, that's why we wanted to be human, just so we can get that invasion. And then you come down here. Um, actually, a pretty good place to deal with this ambush if you have an arrow... Uh, you can hit this guy from here. I wouldn't, uh, like, you could, I guess maybe not a good idea. Yeah, don't do that there. Bad idea. So you want to come over here. Don't open this. This is, surprise, a mimic. You want to chop it to death. Make sure it doesn't grab you. Oh, we dodged that. That was amazing. I thought he grabbed us. Die Mimic. And this will give us another one of those... Um, that's a good place for that. Give us another carving. Which we can use to obviously speak with people. To speak with them. Yeah, was Very good. Very good. I love those. And we'll meet, we'll meet who that voice is later, too. So once you've cleared this, uh, you head down the stairs that we came up. 
Um, I think there's... I thought there was an ambush. It must be right around the corner then. Yeah, so right here, that guy should aggro onto us. If not, walk around the corner, get everyone's attention. Okay, maybe not. Okay, well, fine. We'll just ag kill him from here. Deal with this. Deal with ganks in an intelligent manner, as we always do. Alright, so this guy, I would highly advise you just fucking arrow him from here. Um, if you actually fight him, you have to run across that tiny bridge he's on, which is a big pain in the butt. Ooh. So he's much easier to just deal with right here. Around this corner, we got an ambush. Now we don't. <laughs> Problem solved. And yeah, this this bridge is kind of like you have to you'll have to dodge those. And if you're not comfortable with dodging or you're not fast rolling, big pain in the ass. Had you see a ambush we got ready to go, we'll trigger that now. No, we won't. Thought I hit his arm, maybe not. There we go. Trigger that. Get him to theoretically chase us out here. Yeah, there we go. Oops. deal with him. So this next area is pretty gross. Um, this is a gank fucking fest in here. There are a lot of enemies in a single small little room and you can very easily be overwhelmed if you don't take it very slow. Um, I would advise getting this guy first. He's kind of waiting in this corner. I think we're going to have one drop down here and then yeah, just keep your eyes open and keep, keep you know, look around, make sure nothing's coming up behind you. Like that. I was gonna say, I know there's a drop down guy. And he dropped down from above that little hole. He's sitting there waiting for you to go over here. You start assessing this situation, and then that fucking happens. Um, I would also advise taking this guy out up here if you can. Um, I think he's gonna aggro and try and get to us now and go. No, yeah, he's gonna run around, or maybe we can, we'll be able to pick him off like that. Nah, we'll leave him alone. So from up here, I would advise if you can, uh, if you can hit them, just aggro the guys one at a time. Don't get impatient. That guy should run around. We should see him in a second, actually. Yeah, he should. I believe he's gonna come up there. So try not to aggro too many at once. Don't. I wouldn't advise if you don't have arrows. You're gonna have to do this even more carefully. I think I thought he was supposed to go up there. I don't know where he's run off to, actually. I thought he was going to go up and around and over, but apparently not. Okay, well, we will continue working on this room of people. You want to be careful, because there are two of... there. There's a, a caster right there. I call this the room of patience. You want to be very fucking patient in this room. As I am proving, you shouldn't be, because here I am fucking shooting a bunch of them at once. Uh, usually once you hit them, they'll aggro. That far guy... No, there he is. Yeah, they aggroed. Cool, cool. Is there another one back there? You're dead. You're dead. Okay, so if you look back here, there's more behind us, too. Uh, I thought there, I thought there was one there. Maybe not. Yeah, I think there's some in that little nook. Um, you have to, it's kind of, this room, like I said, is a really big pain in the ass. I don't think that'll work. No. So now these guys should be aggroed on us. Oh, maybe there isn't anyone back there. Maybe they're in front of us. Oh yeah, see up there, there's a fuck ton more of them. So if you just run in this room, you're going to get ganked by about eight of these guys. And the whole time you're doing that, there's a fucking caster shooting you. It, it's, a, it's a pretty big pain in the ass. Also, apparently, hitting these guys is a pain in the ass for me. There we go. Does that kill him? I must have already hit him once. Yeah, I must have hit him once already. Nope, nope, nope. That's all wrong. Where are they? Come on. So yeah, don't don't run in this room like a crackhead. Is my advice for the level. In fact, don't do it at any point because. Pretty much every part of this level can and will kill you if you do something stupid like that. So 
So now I think we can hit this guy with a drop. No, maybe not. Oh, we can't? That sucks. Hold on. Yes, we can! Like a real man, we can do whatever we want. Get behind this pillar, because I think... Yeah, there's another caster up there. I was going to say, I know there's two fucking casters, so... Uh, this one I would take out with arrows if you can. You have to aim kind of low. Usually he'll fall down and you can take him out down here. Really? Is he not going to do that? Because I know there's probably more. Like, every time you think you're done with them, there's, there's fucking more of them. There we go. He's done. Go ahead and cut this guy down. I think that's like a poison cloud or something like that. But yeah, keep your shield up and ready to go, because like I like I just showed, there's a fuck ton of guys around. There's always gonna be fucking more when you least expect it. Yeah, dark fog, okay. Get that. This is, should be shards. This is the this is where we advance. We're actually gonna not go out that way just yet. We got a little bit more to do in here. Uh, we're gonna head over this direction. Keep our shield up at all times because we are a smart motherfucker. Now I know we have one somewhere around here that we aggroed earlier, and I don't know where he's gone to, so. Be careful. Gonna be in there in a little bit, don't worry about that. That's what I meant to do, obviously. Oh, that's weird, we're back at the beginning. What? There's a chest over there. That's weird. It's not weird, because we now know from earlier, you should be casting light around this area. And doing so will unlock another secret passageway. Which I believe has an enemy in it somewhere, doesn't it? I thought it did, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, okay, would have had that guy. Uh, this one's good, chains backwards. Go ahead and get it, and get your red titanite chunk. Don't have to get that. If you want to, you can get it. Always nice to get more chunks, right? And then we need to make a... Well, I guess we could have gone from over there, huh? That would have been easier. Oh, no, that's not what I'm... What am I thinking? We have to make a jump now. Pretty easy jump, really. Not too bad, but... You want to jump in here? Remember that there's... Ignore the chest for now. Uh, because we need to go a-hunting. So there's a guy right here. Want to clear him? Don't... And obviously it's because that chest is going to attack us, so don't go over there and fight the chest. Um, until you're totally sure there's no one that's going to fuck you up. I think this area is clear. And I think this just takes us down... I don't know, let's go see. Actually, we know there's no one here, so let's go deal with the chest first. Uh, this chest is very important. Um, extremely important. Oh, f Don't do that. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Herp, now we gotta remake the jump. Duh, what a moron. Also, I like to keep cast light around. Like, I actually like having more light. So, I actually cast that quite a bit. If I'm playing a mage, I'll pretty much have that on all the time, so. So, yeah. Be careful with this guy. Uh, you're in enclosed space. You know, these guys are assholes. Get lucky that he grabbed around you and uh, take him out and get yourself a very important key. The crest key. We don't know if that's for yet because I skipped it. I'll show you. We will go. We will go see. Don't worry. Don't you worry. All right, let's head down here. See what's down here because I don't actually know. I think this is just where the yeah. This is just up here. So if you want to come up here, you can. I don't know why you would. I guess if you have no ranged, I op no, no range, you can come up here, but. I wouldn't. I would just ignore it. Then last thing to do here is going to drop out of here onto the roof of this building. Come all the way around back here. I think this is Twin Humanity. Yeah, Twin Humanities. Grab that. 
Always use more humanity. Got a place to drop there. Got a place to drop her. And now we're back at the front at the uh, the exit. I did not get that. Why did I not get that item? Let me go get that. Don't know why I wouldn't have grabbed this. Yeah, it's... Go over here, grab your soul of a hero. Free souls. Once you've cleared the area, you don't have to worry about it. Um, and this is kind of like the worst... Well, no, the next area is pretty fucking annoying too, but... It's, it's so cool looking though, like the, the abyss is like spreading and eating all the fucking shit and destroying it. We're going slowly further and further down into it. It's, I lo it's a cool... I, I think it's really cool. Uh, but right here, don't go that way, hug it right. And this is actually going to take us. This is the shortcut I was trying to do earlier. So you can actually use the shortcut and bypass everything we just did. You can literally come here and activate this and you'll be right here. So it's a really, really huge shortcut for this area, as is the other one. They're both really big. I don't know if maybe I haven't played in so long, like... I don't know why. I'm also surprised we didn't get invaded at all. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and spend our souls. Um, I actually want to take some faith. Uh, we want to get that to 18. Uh, you'll see why later. And that's all for this episode. On the next episode, we will continue on our way through the rest of Ulysseel and into, uh, into what lies beyond. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time on Dark Souls.